Welcome folks to the fifth day of the DTS web unit. Today we're going to look at how to add the jQuery JavaScript library to our pages and use it to query jQuery to select elements on the page and then do something with them. So let's go ahead and come down and first thing we need to do is add the jQuery library to our page. So we have starting with the exact same script tag that we had before, but notice that we've added source. And then inside of the parentheses here, we're going to put the link to the jQuery library. And you can get the jQuery library by going to jQuery.com and clicking on the download button. Told you, alert box is the most annoying thing ever. Hold on now. Okay, so you go to the jQuery website, and if you're in a modern browser, uh, meaning not Internet Explorer, and you click on the download link, it'll actually open it up in the page. So Internet Explorer cannot read a J JavaScript page, so it tries to open in a different application. Um, but if you're in Firefox or any other browser, you want to grab the URL or the link at the top of the page, copy it, and paste it. And there you go. That's all you have to do to get the JavaScript library inside of your web page. Huh? There we go. Paste them for me. Okay. Now we come down here and we'll do JavaScript just as we would before, except now we could use jQuery to query or select or find things on the page. Now, if we want to access jQuery, we use a dollar sign and then inside of parentheses and quotation marks, put what it is that we want to query or find. And the first thing we want to get is this form. And then we're going to use jQuery to say when this form is submitted, I want to run the following function. Now, this code may look a little complicated, but for now, you're just going to have to copy and paste it. Um, and it, it's a little bit over the depth of what we could really get into explaining, but having a form and submitting it makes sense. So once that form is submitted, what we want to do is we want to set up a variable for the email. And again, we're going to use jQuery to query or look for what we want to find. And we want to get the value of this input field. Now notice that it has an ID on it. The way we find an HTML ID using jQuery is by using the hashtag or the pound sign, as you may call it. And we say hashtag email. So putting hashtag email will get the ID. And then we want to get the value of that. And this is how we do that. So again, a lot of new stuff here. But uh, jQuery is something that's very powerful. And, and we're just sort of skimming over and trying to use it a little bit here. And we're going to say if the email is equal to empty. Now this should look very much like Java that you've written before, or other programming languages. We're just saying the variable if it's empty. So notice that these are two quotation marks um, with no space in between them. That would be a space. There's no space. And if it is empty, we want to say alert. Please fill in. We'll make it shorter. Email required. Period. Done. Fill it out. Okay, so if we test that in the browser, if we come back over to our jQuery web page, 